What's up, everybody? Out of here, and it's been a long time since I recorded any tutorials for Photoshop or anything like that. <clears throat> so today, I decided to make a new one, and what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to create a flyer or poster for anything you want, say for uh, for your college club or for event or anything, and. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna create a new file uh, with the sizes of um, 8.5 by 11. Some the general size of A4 paper, the paper that you use pretty much to print anything on your small printer. So yeah, um, this layer we're gonna call it um, background or BG. So yeah, let's just leave it like that and create a, a new one and in this layer we're gonna probably add um, we're gonna use a retainer tool or a rounded retainer tool because it looks more better we're gonna cancel fill and make some stroke with the maybe this color and for the sizes we're gonna use what about mm, seven seven looks good and we're just gonna do it just like that. So we're kind of gonna create a frame. So yeah, you can, how can you see? It's not that perfect. So we're just gonna use um, you gonna click here and you just adjust it with pressing the buttons and say this looks perfect. Yes. So we're just gonna leave it and we're gonna create a new layer. Um, now you gotta think. I actually have to think. Oh wait, wait, wait a second. Um, now it looks good, but what about if we'll add some stroke? We just click in blending options right here and stroke. And we're gonna add maybe with a size of two and color is black because it looks pretty nice. And yeah, back to layer one. Now now we have to think um, or you maybe already thought about the idea. For this particular one, um, I'm gonna do maybe um, Let's think. Let's say you have your gaming club at your college or university or school. So we're gonna create this flyer for the school or poster. So yeah, now uh, we gotta think of the main logo. And of course, it will be hard if you do everything yourself because um, it's not that easy if you watch tutorials. Um, so yeah, um, so what we're gonna do is just gonna go to Google. And maybe Google for the picture um, for the main idea that you want to have in your poster, and say I want to have um, games, since it's gaming poster, and at the end we're gonna put PNG, which means uh, the high quality pretty much on the picture, and we really need it. And then just you looking around, looking for the right one. And I'm gonna use. Uh, let's take a moment. Let's see what we can do. Um, which one do I like? Yeah, I can use this one. Just cut everything. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop because it's easier to open and do stuff like that. So we're gonna open with Photoshop now. And how can you see? This is not transparent. Um, background and if you'll have the same thing just uh, first you have to <coughs> excuse me first what you have to do is um, double click on background then create a new layer and click on OK now it's pretty much unlocked next thing um, is to use magic wand tool we're just gonna select everything just pick on the white stuff and delete it so how can you see just cleaned all the background and I don't think we need anything else, so I'm just gonna use erase tool with this size and just erase it. It's pretty easy. And looks like a, oh shit. Looks like there is a frame. Oh yeah, let's just delete the easy stuff right now and then do whatever is left. So yes. Say we've done it. The next step is um, to copy it. So just um 
choose the layer zero, then press Ctrl A to select everything and Ctrl C to copy it. Now back to the original project, we're gonna input it. So we can click the image. Wait. Actually to edit and paste or Ctrl V. And here it is, we have main logo. Now we have to maybe um adjust I would say from the picture size to this one because we don't really want a big one right so yes um, say it's here and we probably will call it main.logo because calling um, your project calling your layers is really useful in your future say if you will edit it so you know which one is the right one and the next step will be um, to create a text on top of it so say you to represent what it's about and since it's about gaming I'm gonna probably call it um, gaming brotherhood so yeah we're gonna create another new layer and go to text and then we're gonna select the font style and for this one I'm gonna use fix fixed sys which is like pixelish you know, you'll see you'll see in a second and for the main color right now I'm gonna use grayish and for the size maybe 72 will be good okay so yes gaming we're gonna move to the next line brotherhood and Jesus it's too big so yeah um, maybe we could make it smaller I think what about 60 60 looks good yeah and since it's gray you barely can see so what we're gonna do we're gonna use blending options again and add some stroke because stroke is a really good thing to use and yeah so how can you see it looks pretty pretty decent and two is enough already and maybe you can add some um, drop shadow and I recommend it to use on um, the bigger size because it just will give you this really good look and you definitely like it and for the main logo by the way let's add some inner shadow and we're also gonna play with the sizes so how can you see it kind of gives you this really nice shadowish look um, and yeah just make it bigger adjust for yourself and yeah done the next thing is probably to create the rest of the text uh, which is like pretty easy and yeah just I'll say you're club or whatever is meeting every mm, I don't know every Tuesday so yeah it's it's really important to use the same font because you don't want to mess it up you don't want to make it look like shit so yeah I'm um, just let's do this just write a text and for the sizes you definitely want to use the smaller size than, than the main text one because that's not how you do it and we're gonna use probably 36 which is almost doubled almost and yeah let's write um, every Tuesday from 1 to 2 p.m. I don't see shit um, let's actually do 30 that will be better and yeah um, for now what I recommend to do is create um, the group of the text so say you selected this Text that we just wrote, and what you want to do is click the control, I mean, hold control, and then click the G or tap in G, and then the thumbnail it will create a group uh, with this text. And we're going to call it um, body.text. So, yes, um, and now we're going to add, um, add some stroke, blending options. So, on the group, not on only just the text, and you'll see why if you don't know, if you never used it before. And for the size, two is enough. Yeah. And then we're just gonna click on back back on this text and just um, print another text with uh, another information. And with this, on the thumbnail key, we'll adjust, um, I mean, add the stroke. So, yes, that's how it works. And what, you, what else you wanna do is probably um, put the location where you guys meet. And in my college we meet say in the student center actually no upstairs 
oh no, 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 second floor. Only two, two. You kind of want to add everything, make it look good. Um, I mean, make it centered pretty much. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. You, we're pretty much done right now. It just that now just adjust um how you want to look like, and maybe um create a logo for yourself or for your club, and just add on the bottom. So it look pretty nice. And after you're done, um, you just save it as PSD first because you don't really want to lose um the stock that you just done. Um, because with PSD, just just a second, let's say it first. Well, with PSD, you will have everything like that. You can see so you can edit anytime you want. Um, and if you save it with say PNG, which is high quality, um, you won't have it. You just will have a single picture. So yeah, here it is. We're just gonna open it and I'll show you what the difference is. So how can you see? There's just one layer without anything. Here we have not this one. Here we have everything like that and. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, after you've done, just print and have fun. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about or any request um, how to use something or how to create, just leave a comment below because I don't really know what else should I do since I'm really busy. And yeah, just leave a comment below, say what else you want to see on my channel and stuff like that. And I'll think about an impossible creative for you. So yeah, that's about it. Have a nice guy. Have a nice day. And sorry, I'm kind of feeling a bit sick today. So yes, thank you.